Okay, my friends, I am going to leave it at this. As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing that exists that is not biology, 100%. And if you look up any culture that existed in the world, they say the same thing. The earth is made of creatures. And so are the planets, everything there is. And I have found a comet asteroid Bennu that they took a sample and brought it back to Earth has the muscle sarcomeres in it and it has the phosphate layers which are the phospholipid bilayers and it shows the sarcomeres is there's no question it's muscle from a heart and it looks exactly like a heart it is a heart there's no question about it, it has tubes coming out of it not craters as tubes it's crazy that they don't understand what they're looking at. And, and we're spent over 1.18 billion is the last time I saw to get this sample. And they're just going to play around with it for years just because, as far as I'm concerned, it's all about funding now. I, I really can't see any reason for this kind of missing everything there is. And nobody can be this incompetent. It's impossible. It's literally impossible. So either they are not allowed to speak or they're not speaking because they realize that they might put themselves in jeopardy for whatever reason. All right, so that's all I can say. I'm, all I want is honesty and truth and be able to discuss these things and not say, oh, that's paradigm, you don't talk to that guy, and, 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 which is what happened to me. And I not now am outside the realm of reality. Nobody wants to even be around me because everybody has put me in that box. Stay away from this guy. He's crazy. Well, we'll find out who's crazy in the end. I'm going to turn this off. And don't forget, these are the balls. And I showed you in my belt those are the same balls, my friend. Those are the same little tiny balls. And on the other side are all those little fibers which I showed you. So it's time to step back into reality as far as I'm concerned. We, we're just walking around in circles. And, uh, and, and these guys are going out and, and turning up this stuff all over the world. All over the world. Now, they got me blocked too, most of them, because they, they don't like me commenting, saying, look, that's biology. You know, can't you see that? And I, don't, I, I try not to be combative to these guys. They're out there actually just doing some very good research. I don't want to be combative to them. I want to be combative to the ge ge geologists that just arrogantly say, oh, no, 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 that's just all layering. And no, it's not. And they realize that that's just not true anymore. I know they realize that. And uh, even Yale changed the name of geology. It's no more. It's planetary sciences. And they show the basement layer of skin at, 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 when they showed the name change for Yale. <laughs> you see this here? Yale University said February 10th, its Department of Geology will change its name to Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences to better reflect reality. Oh, wait a minute. Better reflect the breadth of faculty research. Well... What is this? This is mud fossils. They're showing exactly my stuff. And I reported all this stuff to Yale years before this. And this is 2020. They decided, well, we better change the name to protect the innocent. <laughs> well, they're not innocent by any means. And I, I hope um, our President Trump will take the opportunity to do exactly what he said he would and to extract some resources from these places that have denied reality and put it into a place like Mud Fossil University that it accepts reality and opens it to everybody. I so show both sides. I don't just show my side of it and say, this is all there is. No. Tell, tell me how this formed. Well, I formed a million years here and two million years here and three million years here. No, that guy fell over dead. <laughs> That's the key. They're going to have to start to accept this. And Yale has taken on my stuff. Here's their, this is about mud fossils. This is about mud fossils. And they're soft body. They say there were even before there was bones or anything, my stuff. No, my stuff is long after, but there was bones and everything. There was geese here and all that stuff. And they say this was a comp lived in a warm, slimy petri dish, yet we wouldn't even know about it unless for the chemistry of the ancient oceans, which is the silicates. And this is a Yale-led research team. No, I led the research team, and I gave Derek Briggs my research about this, including DNA tests, CAT scans, specimens, everything. He wouldn't accept them to take a look at them, but I presented it to them in emails and everything. And I, over and over and over, I have a whole list of emails. Well, not hundreds, but dozens. 
And uh, they just refused to do their job and then they took credit for it. And they're saying that this is all fossil deposits in Australia. I'm 15 miles from Yale. You could walk over here almost. And they're talking about they were all soft body, entirely soft body. No, 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 no. I have bones, I have all kinds of things. And they say it was buried in the sand. No, it was buried in the mud worldwide. Underwater storm events worldwide. No, it was a, it was a giant flood of hot water because Venus almost hit Earth and it boiled the oceans. MIT agrees that the oceans did boil. Now, this was for the guy right here, Derek Briggs. I presented my work to Derek Briggs, Yale's professor of geology and geophysics and curator of invertebrate pathology. He told me he didn't know anything about this stuff. He said, well, I don't know anything about that stuff. You should talk to a geologist. I said, what? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable, because he knew I was on top of it. First words out of his mouth was, what are you, a creationist? I said, what's that got to do with it? I said, I'm showing you samples and this and that. And after that, it was all downhill. They're the most arrogant people I've ever seen. And then the whole crew of them there, I sent, I sent emails to everybody, all the way up to the president. I sent it to their legal department and everything. I said, you guys are way out of track here. You're supposed to be fiduciaries to your students. You're not doing your job. But what do I? I'm nobody. So they just, well, now we got somebody that might stand up for truth. I hope Trump will do that. That's what he said he wants to do. We'll find out. So far, I haven't had any words from him. I've been trying to get through, and I know my friends and my subscribers, I have 211,000 now, and um, I'm not getting any word from anybody. Let me just put it that way. So I'm just hoping for the best. But Yale is certainly not going to get any reality here, as far as I can determine. This is the worst experience I've had since I started. I should have never went to Yale whatsoever. Because as soon as they rejected me, everybody else said, you're right, 15 minutes from Yale, go to Yale. I said, they won't look at it. Well, they said, you're an idiot, have a nice day, click me. And then I was blackballed from everywhere because I, I would not back down. And I actually had police and lawyers call me. So this is what you're up against if you want to fight academia. But now we may have a champion in our corner. That's all I can hope for. I don't like any politicians, so don't get me wrong here. I'm not for or against anybody. I am for truth. Whoever can present that. After we get the truth, then we can deal with it. But right now, nobody even knows what the truth is. They have no idea where we live. This is living in fantasy world. You might as well live in a comic book somewhere. The comic books are more real than the textbooks. Much more real. And every, the PhDs are perfectly happy, deluded. PhD, and they suffer from PhDolia, the inability to see the obvious. All right, I love you all.